are the Dogman TP Hunting on YouTube. And if you're listening to this, it will probably be on the Interdimensional Voyagers podcast, either on Spotify, YouTube, or any other podcast provider. Um, my name is Phil Cottable, and uh, today we have uh, Louis again, um, because he has more to tell. And uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, the f first video, if you missed it, I, I would recommend it. you go back and watch it, um, because... Uh, he, there's a lot of things which are going on at the moment and um, a lot of people are scrabbling around for answers. And I think with uh, Louis, he's starting to breach the wall on the answers. So uh, anyway, Louis, nice to see you again. How you doing, mate? I'm doing okay, brother. Just been um, trying my best every day, you know, uh, one day by yeah. day, seeing how everything goes. Yeah, good. No, that's it. That's the way it is. I mean, you've done... Uh, You've done really well, you know, um, from, I mean, if you uh, watched the first episode, people, then you'd know that uh, Louis hasn't had it at all easy um, lately. And, um, um, yeah, we're trying to uh, uh, get together a way of um, helping Louis. Um, uh, but uh, that will be posted on our communities uh, 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 in the very near future. Um, so, uh, Louis, you, 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 you're, you're in the, your sister's place still? No, um, I was at my daughter's before, but um, I had a friend uh, told me to, because it was getting a little negative and um, just my surroundings, okay. and, um, you know, and like, remember you told me that you felt like something was, like I was acting different. It was just, just so much negativity, but as soon as okay. I came to, to my brother's, well, he's a good friend of mine, um, it's like, yeah, everything seemed to be opening up, you know, like there's no more negativity around me. Um, there's still negativity out in the world, but... Um, like I'm saying, like when I go to work and stuff, it's like everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a lot more nicer. It's quite, I suppose it's quite nice, really. Uh, um, with all the uh, uh, going around that you've done and investigating, it's quite nice to get into, slip into a bit of a routine of work, coming back, um, having something to eat, just relaxing, and then, uh, you know, work again. It's like kind of something which is almost like a, a familiar familiar old glove to slip into that you know you know because when you're out there you know which you have been in uh, pyramids and some quite precarious places uh, that a lot of people wouldn't be going to um i think that would be more normal for me if i was still climbing mountains and um uh, you know i still have <laughs> yeah. yeah for me it was uh you know i would rather be climbing mountains and praying and um searching yeah. and um, actually trying to get along in this this uh i guess uh yeah this realm uh, with, um I, mm. it's, it's it's still hard for me to transition into uh coming back into a city and going to work and being around people but it's i'm, I'm trying you know mm, yeah yeah no i know i know well hopefully won't be long hopefully won't be long and uh We'll see you again. More videos if you've, uh, and if you haven't seen uh, some of Lou's um, uh, videos, then I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to post them onto here as well. Um, uh, so people can see that one of the uh, uh, pyramid, with the, the feathered pyramid, is it called, Louis? The feathered, uh, the serpent of the, I mean, the, the pyramid of the feathered serpent of life. Yes. Wow, man, that's just incredible, that place. Yeah, no, the sculpture. That's incredible. That's breathtaking. You know, um, I, I I don't know if I was able to send you that video where I, I recorded the the screaming. My 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 son's friends are just tripping out on all those videos, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was concerning was the uh, that the the um, video of you in the tent with that. I thought it was a rake outside the tent. Yeah. But, uh, did you ever uh, did you ever find out what it was? Did you ever find out what it was? It was uh, like I told you um, last time when we talked. I don't think if you were able to um, say it as uh, after a while, you know, I, I, uh, I got friendly with it. It was a, a big, odd looking dog. Um, That's it, the odd looking dog, yeah. Yeah, it was. That's it, yeah, strange. As I say, people, have a little look. Um, I'll put the, the uh, on the description, I'll put a link for the first video uh, on this one. Um, 
uh, when I was talking first of all with Louis and he went into great detail. Um, what we're going to do, and I would urge you to do that because it is well worth a listen, it really is well worth a listen. It is in two parts, um, but listen from the beginning and just work your way through and then catching up. Um, Louis, what I wanted to talk to you about really, uh, we left the conversation last time um, with a bit of a teaser. You left it with a cryptic, uh, cryptid, uh, cryptic um, ending, and that was about the. You said the witches. You will tell me about the witches next time. Well, um, can you? Witches, can you... Um, mm. well, um, depends on which. which I, I ran into so many. Um, going along my, you know, even growing up, it was like, um, like I told you, my mom was a black witch, and she, mm. you know, she was always going to witches and doing rituals and stuff but she would hide me from them and uh, she would take my sisters and all that but it was it was weird because every time they would she'd finally get confident enough to take me to where they were they would go crazy the witches would fall down start screaming scratch pulling their hair screaming saying that if they knew i was her son they would have never helped her and they would cuss her at her and, and you know and then they would beg me to uh, leave their sight you know, that was as a child growing up. It was like, it was always, and, um, you know, I, it was, it was really, really uh, weird. And then not, like not too long ago, like it's been many years since that happened. I had a preacher call me um, from, from North Texas. And uh, he goes, do you remember when you were a kid and the witches fell to your knee, their knees and they beg you to leave? And I'm like, and it tripped me out because that, I know who the preacher was, but he was never there, but he was claiming to have actually been a witness of it. And, um, you know, um, so it, it's been a long journey, you know, uh, I, every church, every yeah. one of you know, it's like, but, my mom so, and, and, Louis, sorry, mate, I, I, just to get this right, so, so, <laughs> so the witches, when you were very, very little, your mum was a black witch, must have been part of that coven. So that was a part of her coven, was it? Or witches that she knew. So, Louis, they turned around and said basically that you were um, a, how can I put it? Not the antiquist, because that wouldn't be right, would it? Uh, you, were, you were almost like um, uh, something which was um, uh, oil in their water didn't fit yeah they 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 would really go crazy and uh, they would beg me they would tell me if i would leave their site they would never cross me again and um and uh you know growing up like i told you it was uh i didn't have a normal childhood so a lot of the times i was having like spiritual attacks and um, people couldn't understand what was going on around me so my mom was always trying to find somebody you know preachers or anybody to try to but it was mostly witches and they always had the same outcome to just uh get me get me away from them and they don't want nothing to do with me and that i was an abomination you know that i shouldn't exist okay and, um and then, any explanation did you have any explanation for that i mean i know you were a kid but um was there any uh i, I think about one of the um when uh, my mom didn't like she got tired of it and uh, my dad didn't want to uh, take care of me so i was just bouncing around and i uh, one of my uncles he was a real devoted catholic uh, they they were trying to take me to church and stuff and it was just too too dramatic for them and then uh they found supposed to be a grand witch here in texas and um, they took me to her and as soon as i walked in her house uh she she looked at me and she said i will give you 30 minutes of my time but after that i ask you to leave and don't you ever come back or don't you ever look for me again and i'm such a little kid and i'm like i don't even know why i'm going through this and these people are telling me like i'm i'm bad karma or something and um but the thing was that she told me that uh that the reason I would, I, I'm gonna have a struggling life, and that I was uh, nobody wanted to be around me is because uh, the ne the devil himself knew that I was the only one ever 
um, in existence to know his true form. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a little kid hearing this, and I'm like, well, I'm, I, how, how am I supposed to do you know such things? You know what I mean? And um, right. after okay. she told me to leave, and um, my my uncle and aunt told me I had to find another way to because they didn't want to deal with me no more. So I had to grow up a lot different than most kids. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, blimey. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you, yeah, you definitely did. Well, I'm sorry, man. No, it's, it's okay because, um, you know, uh, I don't. the way I look at it is after every burden I've been put through, it's better that I go through it than somebody else because it's. Um, I don't think anybody else could have um, endured such uh, such stuff. You know. Well, I tell you, it's um, it's made you a stronger person for it, Louis. I know that. Yeah, um, I kind of, you know, keep going when they tell me I can't. Hmm. No matter the obstacle. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. Um, this preacher that you saw, it's intriguing that you said that you were, he was there at the time when the witches were telling you this, that, that one time that the witches were telling you that you were, um, bad, do not, do not come back. You know, you're not, um, basically that you were, you were, you, you were, you were not part of their world. They don't want to know about the heart, you know, you at all. How did you question him? Did you ask him how were you there? How I don't remember well, seeing you, things like that. Well, I didn't question him. This is I knew something was up because when he called me and told me that he asked me, he goes, he goes, Brother, do you still believe in like spiritual possession? And I said, Yeah. And, um, what do you call it? Uh, and this will go into a story about witches too. Um, so I'm in I'm in the middle of nowhere and I get this phone call by the preacher and um and to me, the last time I seen him, he was a preacher, and he told me that there was, he brought that up, that uh, that he remembers about the witches falling to their knees and begging me to leave. And then he mm -hmm. brings up, he goes, do you still believe in spiritual possession? And I said, yes. And he goes, well, I have a problem. I have a little girl here, and I have three preachers that have already ran out on her. Would you like mine coming and visiting? So um, I, go, I jumped on my Harley, and um. I drove about eight hours to where his location was, but um, it turns out it wasn't uh, it wasn't a little girl. Um, supposedly he had uh, he had left his congregation and um and left his wife and left his church to um, and left God's path to uh, to get with a witch, and she he was killing her. I mean, he was telling her and her coven the stories of a kid that would make witches fall to their floor and scream. So um, basically, uh, I found myself for four days surrounded by a whole bunch of people trying to uh, figure out what was going on and uh, threatening me, saying that uh, that um, they were witches and uh, they had the power of the devil. and um, They were going to make sure I wouldn't leave. Okay. So, have, you come, have you come, uh, 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 Louis? Have you come across any witches? Have you spoken to any since? Have you like kind of come well, across any? Ever, ever since I came down from the mountain, hmm. and I, you know, like I told you, it's uh, that message that uh, the elderly lady told me that I would, uh, hmm. from here on out, I would have to understand that the ones that are truly of God, the children of light would love me but the ones that use god's word against his children would truly hate me basically um i have not run into anyone ever since then claiming to be witches or or anything or it's just basically before it used to be rampant all over texas where everybody claimed to be a witch but now it's like you know it's very rare that somebody um i run into somebody that claims to uh have Power, you know, um, it's just like I said. Ever since I came down and came back from the mount, I mean, from the pyramids, it's like it's a whole different world. It's like that that um that dark world has um left got away from me, and um now it's just like every once in a while, the only 
the only uh, threats I ever hear are them from my hometown because of what I told you about my roots. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you've had since coming back down from the pyramids, where you had some uh, just incredible encounters, sightings, and um, experiences. I mean, just incredible. Um, uh, there's been nothing which has been um, nothing has followed you that, uh, at all. There's been nothing unusual happened to you since. Every once in a while, like uh, I'll have a, a crazy dream. Like I told you that one time in um, Tijuana, where mm. I felt like I felt like um, all of a sudden I was being shooken and I couldn't move, and I felt like I got yanked out of bed. And then I was like in a place where it was bright lights, and then I broke free and started fighting. But it was, yeah. when I, I, but all of a sudden, like that, I was in my room again. But um, it was, I don't know if it was a dream or, but it was an experience, like, because I was totally awake when I felt whatever um, hold me down and then feeling yanked out of my bed. I was totally awake. But then from when I saw the light and broke free, but, um, that's a little uh, mm. blurry because I woke up and I, was, I felt like, I was in a fight, but I was still in the bed, you know. And then, um, just like I told you uh, a while back, mm. in my my room, I saw a shadow figure saying that the, there's no more time and um and to prepare for the fire. And, yeah. But yeah. Um, lately, it's mm -hmm. been really really calm. It's uh, I've I had a couple people come up to me and um throw Bible verses and, and when they start trying to uh, give me their message and it's forceful and, um, you know, and I say, you know, my message and they, they get kind of upset. So mm. it's, it's a little weird. You know, I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, yeah. But nothing really um, ever since, uh, you know, I'm still getting this. I was just trying to find a video so you could see those where I was in the mountain, the Tocate, where the lights were coming out of the mountain and they were just shooting up into the sky. You know, yeah, I remember that. Shooting. I remember that. Yeah, that would be that would be very interesting. That would be very very interesting. But, but no, it, it was on a, a low visible. I mean, uh, it was a cheap phone, so it's not really really good uh, uh, mm. imagery, but you can still see everything. You know yeah yeah isn't it odd that a strange place strange things happen in a strange place an odd place and so much strange stuff happens not just cryptids not just uh um uh entities visions of uh maybe uh um uh, 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 angelic visions let's put it that way but also things like you see ufos and this is not uncommon a lot of people have the same experiences where they they see not just one single entity be it maybe a, a, a cryptid of some sort yeah dog man a bigfoot but at the same place they will see precursors almost like um a portent for what is coming a ufo an orb like yeah. you like you exactly the same same place it's absolutely amazing it's just uh, it's almost like it's got this um shared power um this 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 is is able to uh, either attract or project um visions and experiences upon the viewer like do you ever think to yourself louis that sat there uh, going to work coming back going to work you know, a normal life let's call it like a normal life that you have now do you ever think that on in an evening when you're sat there do you ever think about the pyramids and about the the valley which valley and you think or oh, wonder what's going on now. Is it still happening now, or is it because I was there that is happening? Well, that's the thing too. Is um, that that's uh, that's that. I think about that all the time. And um, 
All I know is um, I don't I don't really think about if it's still going on there. I'm thinking about um, basically and what in and my truth is, you know how you're you're uh, you're looking for cryptids or y'all have sightings of cryptids and stuff. I'm looking yeah. for a high infested area because something tells me I'm gonna have to go to a place to where um, most people wouldn't go to and um, look for myself. And um, so I've been doing studying and stuff, and I'm I'm trying to look for the high high the area that has more activity because um something tells me i might find something there yeah yeah i think you're very much a very spiritual person and i think because you're of a higher spiritual nature um i think you know your path uh is taking you towards you know um I don't know. It could even be like the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant. It could be like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I don't know, but it seems that kind of vibe to it, man. You know, most of y'all probably feel like an answered prayer. You come into somebody's life and um, while they're praying and then first time of their lives and you help them out. You answer their prayer, but just like a prayer, once it's answered, so they start living in the world again, and they forget about what they prayed for and the promises they gave. Or so you get tossed aside, just like an answered prayer. Well, the, well, well, you know, most of the studying I found is, um, and of you know, same same thing like you're just bringing up is, um, what if um, even in in the pyramids, they were saying that um, there's something hidden that will be found in the time of need to protect God's children, and once 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 the one person receives it, then. It, he will um, win the, the heavenly battle with ease. And, um, you know, like my son asked me, because I talked to my son about it. He goes, well, what if it's not you? And I said, I'm not saying it's me. What I'm saying is, wouldn't you want to be there when the time mm. comes to protect God's children? Wouldn't you want to be there helping? You know, um, so if yeah. I were to show you, you know, and basically, like on the art of covenant and stuff like that, or even in, like in the, in movies, you hear like uh, where it's really, really haunted, and no people can get through it because there's so much evil. But what if it's protecting something that only the person of light can find to protect God's children? And that's one of the um, that's one of the things we basically um, like me and Ted always talk about is a. Uh, if there's a reason for all of this, wouldn't you want to know? And um, I would, I would mm. rather take my chances, even if um, I couldn't make it down back down a mountain. I would want to be there, even. I, it, it's better to try to find out. I mean, just to know than uh, going without knowing and having regret. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah, with you. Yeah. No. 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 No, you know, you've got to know. <laughs> it's just, um, I mean, and, and even with myself, you know, yeah, you've got to know. Can I tell you something? You know, so these witches, right? So when that stuff happened with me and um, in my hometown about my niece went missing and everything, these yeah. people coming up started trying to tell me that I needed to go back to the place where um, there's a story about me in my town. They're saying that... Um, they say the devil came out of a nowhere and approached me. I, I know, you know, the, um, the I could tell you the story, but these people were were telling me that I have to go back to that area because um, my energy is being depleted and they have to renew it and they have to do a certain ritual. And I'm sitting there looking at them. I'm like, They're, they got the whole story wrong. I said, because when that person approached me, he told me that all my life I was going to be targeted but you know um i would have divine protection 
and um, just to keep having faith in God. But they, the way that people in my hometown portray it is some man and evil came and I sold myself, my soul. And I'm like, but I never told anybody that. And even though when I try to explain it, that I, the, what was told to me, they still think um, something's wrong with me, you know? So why, why, why? The, the witches were, were uh, along the way, they told me that the reason they were trying to get me to go to that spot is because they felt they could find my, they could find a source of, of my protection and take it away because all these years, they don't understand why um, I'm still protected and not touched, you know? Do you think you have got a source for your protection? Well, um, I, have you got an am amulet? Have you got I, have you got no, something I, like? I don't wear no amulets. I don't wear no protection deal because I, I um, after everything I've been through, like in the pyramids and stuff, I was always told um, in my heart um, when I, I like basically uh, the way I think is um, when I'm attacked, I feel that. I hope they attack me with all their strength so I can understand what my enemy has. But with protection spells or protection ambulance and stuff, it would, to me, it's like um, it would be nullifying my, um, their true strength. And um, so if God has a protection over me, then, um, then I, I, I put my faith in to my, my God, my father, you know yeah no that's it i always do you know what i i i, I always say I say to people look with um that i i believe in god um and i wear you know uh wear a crucifix um uh but the wearing of the crucifix is not a embodiment of the of of my faith um uh i it's like i often say to people do you know what they look down on me um, when they say, oh, didn't you go to church? Haven't you been to church for, for like three weeks or four weeks or a month? I go, uh, tell you what, I haven't been to church for years because I believe you don't have to go to a church to pray. Oh. You can pray without having to go to a church. And yeah. some people's faith is more stronger. Um uh because all the while i'm always I'm, I'm always talking to the big men or anyway you know sort of i'm always but i'm using his intermediate and i'm using the holy spirit which i believe is around you know jack I, um and uh yeah it, it's all the time you know i don't i don't um whenever but when i'm not working and when i'm not um i'm not conversating with somebody people catch me i'm just staring at this at the sky and I'm, they're like what are you doing i said praying that's, you know, that's all I do is pray, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, you know, I, this is the way I, I saw it, you know, and, you know, some of my studies is like, it, you, you know, when they say thou shalt not carry, say my name in vain, you know, in mm. ancient Hebrew, what it actually means is thou shalt not carry my name in your heart in vain. So the way you live your life, you know, with love and to okay. help your brother, you know. Yeah. And so, so yeah. the way if you live your heart, live in your life with a, a dark heart, and you, and you put dark, I mean, negativity towards everybody, you're carrying his name in vain. Mm -hmm. You know, because the yeah. meant was to love your brother, you know, and um, to to help your brother um, have a kingdom, and uh, yeah, and everybody loves that. So, well, you know, it's like for instance, when you were a child. You know, um, if you got mad at your dad and you cussed at him, did he not forgive you? Mm. But but your life yeah. choices are what makes it to where it's unforgivable. So if you're not going to live, you know, trying to make a better path for your brother, then, you know, you are carrying his name in vain. Yeah. So, yeah. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, it doesn't need a church. It doesn't, it just needs real family and real message and uh, mm. real hope and faith, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. I, I do. Yeah, absolutely agree with you there. I agree with you there. 
um, it's all in it's all in our hearts and our heads at the same time as well. Although you know, one conflicts with the other sometimes when it comes to religion. You know, the head does conflict with the heart. So I, I tend to follow the heart more, the heart and gut feeling. But um, yeah, no, I, I mean it's um it, it's a it's a funny one, Louis. It's uh, you know I, I've I've met people in the past which um, I because i've got this and i've always had because i grew up with a cv school right so it's church of england's always been you know so i've always been christian and um uh um so it used to be sat down in the mornings every morning before we did anything singing cat stevens songs morning is broken all the rest of that cross-legged before we've done anything yeah uh, in a big hall there'll be loads of kids like singing cat stevens songs and um uh but it's been times in my life where I tell you what I have met people which are at conflict with me, and I, 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 I've got a very strong sense from them that they are, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, not bad, but um, quite evil, evil people, oh. evil people. I've got a very, you know, you just know, don't you? To some people, you just meet and you think, ooh. No. Um, I it, you do. Oh, good. It's not just me then. Yeah. Not very often, but just sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes in my life I've had it. You know. I I think the reason I I stay alone um to myself a lot is like most of the people around me uh, that have bad intentions, it comes to light not because um I show it. It's just something that happens around me that um. Um, they can't hide themselves and it comes out and they, mm. they and um, so I got a lot of people pretty still upset about me because uh, people can't they can't hide the way they they truly are around me you know so that's, yeah that's basically yeah. one of the stuff that I was happening in, in my hometown um it's uh everybody wanted me to follow them but you know I, I can't follow somebody I don't believe in and uh and around me it was just like i have my i have my own beliefs and um there's some things i don't i won't do i'll, I'll treat everybody like a brother but there's still some moral aspects that um if i feel that it's not it goes against my uh, my uh. my beliefs I, I i just and then i just stay away but the more they come around the more true truer they show themselves then people start seeing their true objective and the, the darkness in their heart, you know. And so I mm. most of the trouble I've ever had was because people just um, attacked me because they just saw that in their heart they don't like me for some reason. No matter how much love or how much respect I can give them and how honorable I can show uh, be to them, they've always mm. um, just tried to attack me. I don't know. I I was lucky growing up. I was very lucky compared to yourself. Very lucky because I was in a quite stable home. Um, uh, only the most unluckiest part really is my mother's cooking. But other than that, um, it was quite a sort of a, a, a Christian home, if you like. Um, although my dad was my dad was like kind of um, mixed blood. There's a bit of mixed blood there. So originally, my dad, like um, his father, came from India, and uh, so we've got like Hindu background as well. Uh, uh, Mum's a bit mixed as well. But um, what I'm getting at is. As I grew up, it was very easy for me to adopt the Christian values because I was surrounded by that. With you and yourself living in what is tantamount to be kind of a witch's circle, which is a, a, a predominantly some kind of witchcraft or dark witchcraft in your village that you grew up in, what kept you, with your mother being a black witch, what kept you so? Um, uh, in the in the name of light, as it were. I, you know, um, to be honest with you, I just it was just in me. I, no matter how much my mom would try to make me, you know, do um, black magic or something like that, or or somebody would try to make me do 
or, you know, try to help them do something wrong. It was just in me. It just, I felt that's not the way I wanted to be. And um, it didn't matter how bad it got. Even It even got to a point where, like, I would get treated so bad. My mom would come to me and say, you have the power. All you got to do is just curse your enemies. And I, I can show you how to do it. And you can crush them. And I'm like, no. I said, this, I, I will not, you know. Um, so my mom really treated me really bad because uh, I kept refusing, you know. And but I, it was, ever since I was little, I, I was always yes, sir, no, sir, uh, full of respect. Um, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's, it wasn't as I would always hear that voice saying, you know what, take it as training for someday you're gonna, people are going to need you. So mm. endure it and um, understand that when the time comes, what you've been through will help others so i i just kept kept sticking with it like every time like um even when uh with all due respect uh, when i was younger and i did drugs i would always hear a voice saying you're better than this what the hell are you doing and i would just it would i would just hear voices telling me you know and i would bear away from it or bear away from the people it would just i would hear um and it would you know like scalding voices telling me i'm better than this and I should mm. hold myself to a better standard, and, you know. So I kept, you know, I kept going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite, is it quite normal for like where you grew up? Is it quite normal for for um, religions to be of more um, a darker persuasion, as it were? Well, um, where I, where, yeah, because um, so much of uh, gangs and uh, uh, people doing you know, drug trafficking and stuff like that, yeah. Right, okay. More of the people, more of my family, um, they would uh, go into the dark for witches for protection and stuff like that. Okay, right. Um, did you ever witness anything, did you ever witness anything, Louis, that um, made you believe that they did have power? It wasn't all just talk. Um, they did have okay. power. All right. Um, I was about nine years old, uh, which I told you there was. Remember, I told you that we would see cryptid like it, you know, big old hairy. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, one night, you know, for like for she every night she was screaming that the devil was trying to get in her house and that she she messed up by helping us and that for what she did she was gonna pay. Her okay. husband started going to the hospital and st stomach started bloating and he was always having surgeries, but they never found nothing wrong with his stomach. Well, um, the night he passed away, I, my mom was like, that lady was screaming, saying the devil's trying to get in the house. And um, I walk, she makes me walk across in the dark to go over there to the house. And um, I walk in through the door and the lady's on the bed screaming, and you know, with her back against the corner of the wall, and her husband, there's candles all around the floor, and her husband's just rolling around holding his stomach, and his stomach burst open, and all these black maggots just start falling out. Um, I'm, I'm a little kid, and um, by the time the EMS and everybody showed up, even the EMS, because it's such a small town, we're like, how could this be? We just pulled them out of the hospital. They've been giving them. Or how can the maggots just destroy his, you know, like how right. could he be full of, full of maggots? And yeah. um, and after that, the lady uh, just went see now, like every night she would just get screaming and you could hear like, like pounding on the back of her door screaming and like she was screaming that the devil was trying to, you know, come to claim her for helping us, you know. Oh, why? But she had told my mom or, you know, I was there when she told my mom because she was a, a a witch, a dark witch, and she she fought, you know she, um, she praised the devil that for her helping my family because I don't know if she was helping me or my sister, but um, my, my something happened and um, they said that she was going to go against all her beliefs because she shouldn't do anything good, and after she did what to help us, she she was uh, she knew the sacrifice, and that's what went through so i've seen okay. 
I see a lot of that's just one incident, you know. There's many incidents in my through my life where mm. I've uh, I've um, I've helped people. You know, um, I do go around like people that have. Uh, it's been a while, but like when there's kids that have problems, you know, basically like if they need a exorcism or mm. you know, when people um, contact me through a friend because they can't talk to anybody else. I go and um, I go and do what I can. Most of the time, I'm successful, but it's been a while since so anybody's came to me. You know. Okay. Right. Is there is there a set? Of, is it, uh, do you, do you recognize it in them that that they're just not um mentally disturbed? They are have actually got a a, a being in them. You recognize yeah. that. Yes, and it's it's um, and that's the thing is, when I'm going through it, and I'm, it's it's I've had pictures they've been destroyed, when um, I've had recordings they've been destroyed, um, my my sister uh she had a family problem and I, I I called I mean they called me to go help out this little girl and they had the pictures they had the video and they destroyed everything after a. Uh, after it was successful and uh, wow but people still talk about it they just and, and his people came and destroyed everything all the evidence my, my sister destroyed all the evidence your sister did yeah it's like it's like this is what i found out my whole entire life that when i do actually help people and do stuff yeah um, it's it's at that point where I can't, I can't believe that um, people would be willing to hide it and actually try to help me um, um, show it. You know. Do you know it's funny with um, with the dark arts? I think that's what what entices some people because um, with the dark arts, it's um, a lot more dramatic. It's a lot more instant. The 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 uh, um, uh, magic, if you like, is a lot more instant. Um, you get results quicker. They're they're, they're far more dramatic, and um, uh, they work in a more obvious manner. Whereas uh, belief in God um, is a lot more. It's almost like he uh, <laughs> he's he's a lot more subtle. He's he's a lot more patient. You get the result in the end, but the path may be so uh, um, uh, uh, crooked, and you wander along thinking mm, it didn't work. He doesn't. He's forsaken me. It hasn't. It hasn't worked. But all the while, he is sending you on the path. You know, um, uh, it's funny how it works out that way. It's a lot more subtle. Well, Christ is. Yeah, you know. It's, it's you, you know, one time it got so hard uh, that I couldn't take it no more right and um i went and found my mother and i i burst in the door and i said what's wrong with me and um I said, she's like what do you mean i said you i said what did you do as when i was a child for me to be so burdened and um that's when i found out you know she told me she goes uh she got quiet and she goes i just want you to know that uh i loved you the most and i looked at her and i said after everything I've been through and everything you put me through, you loved me the most. And she said, yes. And that's when I felt in my heart saying that, you know what happens when um, somebody makes a deal or a pact with the devil? They mm -hmm. don't sell their soul. They give up the thing they love the most. Uh... And so um, now... It made a lot more sense because of everything she put me through. Why would she go through so much hate towards me just to, you know, uh, just. You know. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. You know, so. No, it, I, get, I, get, I get you. I get you. Yeah. I, so I came to a realization. You know what? If, if um, she made a deal and there were. And it somehow uh, you get 
you know, sometimes you, it's like they say, be careful what you wish for because you get what, what you ask for. Well, mm. I guess she didn't expect that um, whatever was given to me as God's gift was only going to be used for God, not for for sinister, you know, um, plans, or I guess you say, uh, right. because mm. she was always saying that it, with my gifts, I could I could make people give me money. And I'm like, it's not about money. It's not, it's supposed to be helping God's children. Mm. Even as a yeah. kid, I would like, I would refuse. And um, even when I came back from the pyramids, all her friends, when they found out I was in, um, in the town she was at, her friends were looking for me saying that um, if I would do black magic for them and they would pay me thousands of dollars here and there just so they could hurt their enemies or do this. And I'm like, that's not what I came here for. I said, I will not hurt. You know, I'm not here to hurt people. That's what people don't understand. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. Fuck it. Do you know? It's almost as if they know that um, there is something. But there's something that you possess, which in their hands would be would make their powers even stronger. Yeah. There's something that you have. That's all it seems like to me. That's what it seems like to me because they, by them stating that you know, uh, if you were to do if you were to do uh, magic for them or incantations for them, they would pay you a stupid sum of money. Yeah. Even the even the elders at the uh, pyramids, they 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 would tell me that um they could make it to where I could have money and I wouldn't have to worry about nothing and I'm like that's not what I came here for I came here to find why my life has been like this and they were like they were always trying to give me money or something or you know or they would try to entice me with you know and I would always turn them down and then you know uh, to the last day when um, I left the pyramids when I came down the mountains and they were trying to force me to stay with them they were like even saying you you will be one of my disciples and i said i didn't come here to be your disciple i came here looking for my path and looking for my god i said and y'all have y'all have just tried to stop me every which way y'all can and so it got yeah. really really intense you know yeah no i got you i got you yeah yeah um it's a it's a it's a weird one I mean, I've never been in that situation of... of, of uh... I can only tell people my story. I mean, you know, because this is the path I've had been. And the people that, like, really know me, um, mm. like Tess and other people that really know me, they know that every step of my way has not been easy. You know, they know that for some reason I'm mm. still here. Yeah, I think that I think you are because you are... Uh, I'm afraid to say, I'm sure you are on a, uh, a path and this path is, uh, you're meant to be on my brother and you, you're, you're meant to be on this. Um, and all the while you've got these tests in front of you. Um, but you're heading towards something, which I think, uh, is going to be very important, very important for everybody. Um, all the times those witches would go crazy. It was always like, uh, I always had people show up out of nowhere and tell me that I had a different path. And then, um, like, even for my wife, um, the reason I'm not married anymore is because somebody showed up laughing at her uh, job. And um, I had been married, like, almost uh, about 10 years, 13 years. And uh, everything was going great. And then one day she was at work, and uh, she had some guy came in laughing, looking at her and saying, "This, I got a message for you. And um, that she could no longer stay by my side because God had a different path and uh, she stood by my side um, that she would die. And she was like, what are you saying? Well, I, um, I'm always going to stay by your side. And he kept laughing and he got up. He goes, take this as a message or a warning. And he, she said, I would never leave him. And as soon as he started walking outside, the the window shattered or the glass shattered and slit her wrist and um, I got called and uh, they barely saved her from bleeding. And uh, oh, when she told me, why did this keep happening to me? Um, when she got better, I sent her away so she could be protected. Oh man, yeah, yeah. 
Well, that's some crazy shit going on. And um, that at, is at crazy. all the people there, nobody could, nobody recognized the guy. They said they'd never seen him before, but they would, they would, they found it odd that he would just be laughing and you know, something like that. Right. Okay. Because this uh, was that the but your wife at the time that was the lady that uh, was talking about um, the dragon or dragons. Come here, brother. Come here. Check this out. I, I might be tripping, but check this out. Look, all right. You see the that right there? I swear. All right. Look at. Doesn't it look like a dragon face coming out of the dark? Yeah. The wing over there. Yeah. You see that? And then it looks like a hands cover. I mean, there's hands. See it? It's even got the like the. It's even got the fucking. Um, oh no, it's like there, there's a face, there's a the mouth right there. Looks like a one of them dragons. Like trying to come out of something or like. Now it just changed. See now it looks like a like an Aztec. Um, yeah, look at that. Hey, he making up, he making up Am I tripping or is that? Huh? The dragon or the, the, the last celestial being. Um, yeah. Is protective of her. Yes, she was from that tribe. But yeah, she was a special from... tribe. Yeah, she was a special tribe, wasn't she? Very ancient. Ancient tribe. And um, so I sent her away. You know, I, you know she's got a new family. And um, she's doing good. Okay, okay, yeah, well, that's good, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a crazy story, man. That's a crazy story. Yeah, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you it's good. um, and I'm sorry you've been through that, I really am, bro. I'm sorry you've been through that, that's oh. awful. No, no kid should go through that, but um, yeah, it was, it's all right. Uh, like I said. It, it was my path. Um, I think if everything were the same, I, I would rather go through it again than have somebody else go through it. Mm, yeah. yeah. No, you're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. You know, thank you for what you do. Um, okay, right. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it there. Listen, Louis, thank you for coming on and talking to us once again. I appreciate sure. it. Um, and um, uh I shall, yeah, we shall, we shall, we'll stay in contact anyway, yeah? Definitely, yeah. we'll stay in contact, you know? Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good idea to do, um, uh, because this is a journey, and I, I, I feel like I'm on the journey with you, Louis. <laughs> you know? Like I said, um, there's part of the stuff that we're, we're still looking on. Part of my journey has been looking for cryptids, dogmen, stuff like that mm, it yeah seems like uh, there's a key with them or there's something for them to be showing up more and more uh there's got to be a reason you know? yeah yeah i i think so mm, i think you're right because it's accelerating they seem to be sp spotted a lot a, a lot more now a lot more often by people whether people just coming forward more i don't know but you know, so um, uh, I've got a theory that they're, they're you know, um, uh, I think in a way, I think they everything goes down to the biblical. Everything goes yes. down to we will find our answers in the past. And I think that's why it's so interesting following you on your path, because your path is very much tied in with the past. 
Yeah, and the um, thing is to actually um, have the dreams and then have find the ancient, you know, tablets that have the words and uh, going through what I've been going through, being told yeah. that I have to make a decision. Um, there's other things I could tell you, but uh, I I think it'd be slower going into that because uh, for me to tell you that, you would probably um, really have to sit down and think about what I said. You know? Okay. Because um, there's more experiences that I've had and um, the messages, but to actually tell you, uh, I think you would have to sit down and uh, take a deep breath and have to really uh, ponder on it to um, to understand what uh, I've been doing. Uh, okay, okay, All right. Uh, oh, that's very cryptic. <laughs> that's very, um, uh, well, over, uh, before okay. we got more time. Um, where I'm from, uh, they had a story about a baby that was born with hooves, and mm -hmm. uh, the mother was raped by some beast. Uh, nobody ever, they, the story the elders tell in that town saying that nobody ever knew what happened to the baby, it just disappeared. Well, um, sometime where in high this? school, um, that town um, where I'm having all that trouble at. Called Carn City, Texas, and uh, okay. around the age of sixteen, and this is just I I, I did not what I I can only tell you what I was told, but yeah. um remember I told you when the witches said that I was an abomination that I couldn't destroy how yeah, can someone destroy a demon without well the yeah. thing was whatever happened to me as I was coming through, they said that I uh, I came out of the dark and I had hooves. And I, I don't, yeah. I can't say it was, I can't say I looked down. I said, the people, even people that were in my high school said that, um, that I, my feet were hooves when I, um, so I don't, I mean, it's just, so there's a lot of, I mean, um, I, I didn't witness it. It's just the stories that they tell in the town. And, um, I remember the witch was saying that I was an abomination and that how can a man destroy a demon without the power of the word of God because and um so she told my mom never to come back again but I remember uh, when um I came through from being attacked or fighting or whatever I was doing I had classmates that because the the witch had kids my age and they were they were with they witnessed it so around my town they were telling everybody that um I was something not normal but I didn't not I didn't witness it, you know. I just knew that um, I was just having an episode. And, uh, but they said that um, they saw me, um, they saw my legs change. And um, I don't, I don't, I can't say I I saw it, but that's just what they were telling everybody. Okay. So, as would you come with, with, with Louis? Will um, you come back again and talk about this? Would, about would you come back? Yes, sir. You okay. Know, All right. I, Very interesting. <laughs> um, if I, um, I might as well tell my story because um, I know I got to get places. And uh, I can only tell my story. If people decide to believe it or they want to ridicule it, it's okay because they don't understand yeah. the path that I've had to go. No, exactly. Uh, it's just something it's best to just i think you know to get out there and to talk about it's helped me in my experiences talking about it you know um okay right uh on that uh wow that's a hell of a hell of a thing to talk about that's <laughs> there's so much i can tell you but it's you're gonna have to take it in strides because um, even tess tells me you know, Beth has um, gone through it a lot um, of what I've been going through, um, and she she's like, you know, um, most people don't really want uh, to to know about what I've been through because it's it's really scary, you know. So because you do realize what that means, you know, them saying that you 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 you, you know you were seen to have who's, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
that, that, that's, a, that's a that's a oh, head scratcher. Yeah, and so if you talk to Tess, she can probably explain you a little bit more about the whole or stuff like that. I don't know. You know what, what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I've got I've got Tess's. Um, thanks to you, I've got I've got her. Uh, uh, I'm in contact with her. I think what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to what I'm going to do. I'm going to chat before I put this out. I'm going to chat with Tess, yeah. and then if you're okay with it, um, uh, I'd like to do like maybe a, 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 a something where it's like a bit more collaboration. Maybe the two of you, or That'd if she cool. will, be on Facetime with her. It's been a while since we actually got to chat live to live you know because we're always um because of our time yeah. difference it's always we're just trying to catch each other with messages oh i know i know it's, it's awful as i said two o'clock in the morning i was like <laughs> my time greenwich mean time two o'clock in the morning i woke up at half past one got up went on this and bless her heart she weren't well she weren't well she didn't she she forgot about it because she just weren't well so yeah. but that's no that, that doesn't matter it's the time wise yeah but do you know i think i would like to um I'll, I'll stop this i'll say thank you anyway just so we got an ending louis thank you very much for your time i appreciate it um and once again amazing man uh an amazing path you have ahead of you um and uh yeah we shall uh, talk again very soon thank you louis you have a blessed day brother i'll be here